Hello Pisces, this is your personal month forecast or horoscope for December 2023. Before doing this horoscope, I did consider shaving, but then I thought, you know, for any of the zodiac signs, I think shaving is probably the least important for Pisces. I don't think you really care that much about that, if that makes sense. So um, anyway, but let's talk about what to expect for you for this month. So generally the focus is on Sagittarius and Capricorn, and that is not unusual for the, for this month, for December. Um, that's what we would typically expect for the for this time of year. We start out the month with Sun and Mars in Sagittarius and Mercury in Capricorn. And what's interesting about this month is that we'll actually see a switch. Um, eventually, Sun and Mars will both enter Capricorn this month. And Mercury will actually turn retrograde and go back into Sagittarius. So we're going to break down specifically what does all that mean for you. We're going to talk about the, what that means, you know, throughout this month. Um, but first, let's just talk about what this means on a more general level. What does this focus on Sagittarius and Capricorn kind of indicate for you? So for you, this is actually a very powerful time of year. It's very strong. Uh, both Sagittarius and Capricorn, they correlate to the 10th and 11th houses, respectively, for you. And both the 10th and 11th houses, they correspond to the, the highest part of your chart, sort of. Um, the top part of your chart. I guess technically you would say 9th and 10th houses, but 10th and 11th houses, they both have to do with career, reputation, networking, you know, your relationship with your, with your community, your role in society. So again, these are very powerful themes. You know, you may be more visible than normal at this time of year. And if that sounds scary, well, it potentially is. It's not 100% good. It depends on how you use it, right? Um, so I'm saying this for you just to be aware that you are a little bit more visible than normal at this time of year. So I would say flaunt that. This is an excellent time to be ambitious. You know, what are your goals with your career or your reputation, your role in society? Even if you're the most introverted person and you say, oh, none of that matters for me, you have some kind of repu uh, you, excuse me, you have some kind of relationship with the community or with the public, right? So whatever that is for you, it may be more important, more active for you this time of year. You may be just logging more hours at work or maybe spending more time in public or whatever time, you know, you are spending in public or at work, it may be more powerful, more active for you. Okay. That's just on a very general kind of basic level. Um, so at this point, you know, we've pretty much talked about Sun, Mars, and Mercury, at least in a general level. Uh, starting out the month, Sun and Mars in 10th house, you know, it's showing that that's where the energy and the ambition are for you. They're in your career, your reputation. Sun and Mars are probably the most energizing placements or planets, if we can call them that. Um, so again, very, very, very powerful for you. With Mercury entering your um, 11th house, Mercury enters Capricorn on December 1st. So going forward from December 1st, um, Mercury in the 11th house, it just indicates for one, just a general busyness in terms of your networking, you know, branching out. What are your connections with your, your workplace or your community in public? This also has to do with online activity as well. Again, even if you're the most introverted person, you've got some kind of groups that you're a part of, some kind of community, some kind of networking potential, etc. So Mercury in this area of your chart is showing a general busyness there, as well as the potential for learning, branching out, communicating more, that type of thing. Okay. All right. So we've gone through Mercury, Sun, Mars. The last inner planet I want to talk about before we get into what's specifically going on for you throughout the month is Venus. So we start out the month with Venus in Libra, this is your eighth house. So for these first few days of the month, Venus will be bestowing upon you love, pleasure, abundance, desire in the realm of your shared resources, your finances. So this is like kind of abstract finances. This has to do with your investments, your commitments, your obligations, any kind of um, bank accounts, credit cards, debts, inheritances. This is money that you owe other people or organizations, as well as money that's owed to you as well. Debts, inheritance, taxes, any kind of um, situations with like roommates or a significant other that you share finances with. In all of these areas, you know, Venus is bringing you kind of abundance as we start out the month. So, you know, definitely a handy place to have to have Venus. As we get in later in through the month, though, Venus will enter Scorpio. It will spend most of the month in Scorpio. And by the end of the, by the end of the month, Venus will actually enter Sagittarius. So we're going to talk about what all that means for you. But hopefully I've kind of given you an idea of what to expect on a general level for the month and specifically for the beginning of the month. 
And now what I want to do is go through and give you some key dates on developments for you that will be affecting you for this month, all right? So the first one I've actually already talked about, that would be December 1st, Mercury enters Capricorn. Again, that just indicates um, an increased busyness, communication, learning in the realm of your networking, your community, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that's going to affect much of the month for you, all right? Jumping forward to Monday, December 4th, this is, the, this is the day where Venus leaves Libra and enters Scorpio. So this is very powerful for you because Venus is, you know, it's a little bit behind the other inner planets. It's catching up. It's still climbing to the top part of your chart, right? Venus is in the ninth house, which is kind of at the top of your chart. So um, for one, that just means that Venus is beginning to really... Um, affect your reputation to some extent and your relationship with the public, right? Uh, means that you're more visible in a really kind of beautiful way. Others are enjoying your company more. You know, you can really get the best bang for your buck. You're, you're more enjoying these public parts of your life. Specifically though, the ninth house has to do with higher learning. So with Venus entering the ninth house for you, you may just be enjoying or more so valuing uh, asking the bigger questions, you know, getting into philosophy, metaphysics, maybe astrology is a part of that. Could also be higher learning, so that could involve maybe spending more time at the church or the university or wherever you go to ask the bigger questions, wherever you go for higher learning. All right. Um, so in a way, you are already kind of known for these types of things. You are known for asking the bigger questions, and um, sorry, asking the bigger questions being open-minded, right? So in a way, it's kind of just boosting traits that are already kind of there for you, if that makes sense. You're more valuing, you know, what are the big scale ramifications of this or that? You know, where's the, the higher knowledge, the higher information? That's, that's what you're valuing going forward. Wednesday, December 6th, this is the day where Neptune turns direct. This is especially important for you because not only is Neptune the modern ruler of Pisces in, you know, modern astrology, but also, Neptune is still in your sign. Neptune's been in Pisces for years and years. Um, but with Neptune turning direct in your own sign, Neptune turning direct means that its energies are coming online. They're affecting us in a more visceral, more physical, more literal type of way. This is especially true for you because it's in your own sign and it kind of rules Pisces. Um, okay, so what does this mean? So basically you are becoming more acquainted with neptune energy going forward you already kind of are immersed in neptune's energy just by having pisces placements so in other words um neptune makes things confusing it brings delusion and fantasy um it can be i think it can be sometimes the hardest energy at least for me to deal with maybe it's easier for you um but it can be very difficult because you can't really like see the truth with a strong Neptune energy, right? Um, there's that potential for delusion, but, and this is going to sound contradictory, but with Neptune's energy, there's also a potential for enlightenment as well for, you know, spirituality and collecting, uh, connecting with the collective consciousness and, and things like that. So, um, okay. So all of this is going to become boosted and become strengthened for you moving forward from December 6th. This is especially true if you have any placements on or around 24 degrees Pisces. And if you do have placements right around 24 degrees Pisces, you will especially feel this right around December 6th as well. So again, you know, maybe being more confused, more delusional, but also having potential enlightenment as well. My only advice would be maybe just kind of check yourself a little bit. Um, you know, it's great if you're diving into spirituality and, you know, really figuring things out. That's awesome. Uh, you could have some really strong intuitive flashes around this time as well. And also just going forward from this date. So that's great. Go with that. But again, you know, maybe just check yourself, maybe think about it or, you know, use your own discernment because again, you know, you may be seeing things, um, not quite objectively. You may be seeing things as better or worse than, than they actually are. All right, going forward to December 12th, this is the day where there is a new moon at 20 degrees Sagittarius. So remember, Sagittarius is your 10th house. This is, again, a very public part of your chart. It has to do with your career, your reputation. And a new moon in this part of your chart, it is what it sounds like. It's the potential for a new beginning, not in a super like active type of way, not typically anyway. 
Um, this is more a time for resetting your intentions. What are your goals? Um, you know, what do you want to achieve for the future? I think those of us that are interested in astrology, as well as those that have strong Pisces placements, you can sometimes lack direction because you're so adaptable, right? And that's great. You know, that's a good strength. However, with this type of new moon in your 10th house, I would really encourage you to um, sit down and just kind of go over what are your intentions, um, any intentions for your life, but specifically having to do with your career and reputation. Okay, this is a very powerful time for manifestation and just connecting with these types of things going forward. All right. What are your intentions? What do you want with your career, your reputation? Um, it's really that simple. So I'm going to move forward. Uh, going forward to Wednesday, December 13th, this is the day where Mercury turns retrograde at 8 degrees Capricorn. So, like I said, you know, Mercury has been in your 11th house. It's been giving you that abundance, that curiosity, that learning in terms of your networking, you know, your community, your connections, things like that. Now with Mercury turning retrograde in this same area, it's basically saying, okay, let's slow down. There's something that we've missed here. Let's go back. Let's get a more thorough understanding. So, so you may kind of be reevaluating what is your relationship with your community or maybe multiple communities, multiple groups that you're a part of. What's your relationship with your online networking and things like that? Are there areas in, the, within these areas, you know, are there relationships or, or dynamics for you that are unhealthy in some kind of way, or that could be improved upon? Or maybe you've just been missing um, information or maybe not having a thorough understanding of these types of areas. So Mercury retrograde, yes, it can be seen as a burden. It can be a bit dysfunctional. However, this is an excellent opportunity for going back and one way or another, you're going to get a more thorough understanding of these types of areas for you. So, um, you know, going forward from December 13th, you may see certain connections or parts of your network or groups you your values may be changing in these types of areas you may value new connections new groups new community or you may also be kind of just generally pulling away from these things in order to kind of process your whole relationship with this part of your life in order to see you know should i invest more of my time with this other group or this other connection you know you may be making new connections or falling away from certain connections there's just a general change in these types of areas for you going forward from december 13th Going to December 21st, this is the winter solstice uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, summer solstice in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, so this is a very important day for everyone. It's also the day where Sun enters Capricorn. So Sun is leaving your 10th house, entering your 11th house. So it's still continuing to be in a very public part of your chart. You're still very visible at this time. You still may be spending more time than usual in public or at work. The difference is your focus is becoming more social in nature so again you know your networking the groups that you're a part of etc this is where you may have more energy and more of a general focus going forward okay saturday's december 23rd this is the day where mercury is retrograde and it's actually leaving capricorn and going back into sagittarius so it's leaving your 11th house and it's, it's on rewind right now it's going back into your your 10th house right so basically, that means there's some kind of unfinished business in the 10th house for you. What is going on with your own career, your own reputation? Hopefully you took that um, opportunity from the new moon and, you know, you become more acquainted with your own intentions in this area. So now with Mercury reentering your your 10th house, there could be some um, new information. However, it could be things coming from the past, though, past events with your career or reputation, maybe people from the past having to do with your career or reputation um you know these issues from the past are kind of coming forward uh going forward from december 23rd and also again you may just be reevaluating your relationship with your career and reputation you know maybe you've been spending too much time there maybe you haven't been spending enough time there you know your whole um values your intentions may be changing in that area going forward and again this may be uncomfortable I could see you maybe taking time away from work or, you know, time just to kind of um, process this part of your life, if that makes sense. Um, but doing so, you know, it's necessary to gain maybe a healthier relationship with this part of your life or maybe a more functional manifestation of your career, reputation, etc. 
All right. Uh, December 26th, the day after Christmas, if you celebrate that or if you don't, whatever, it's fine. Um, but December 26th, this is the day where there's a full moon in Cancer. So this is really highlighting not only Cancer, but really the Capricorn Cancer axis. Because remember, a full moon is a moon-sun opposition, right? So the moon is at 4 degrees Cancer. It's opposing the sun at 4 degrees Capricorn. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, what does this mean for you? So, Cancer is your sister sign. It's a fellow water sign, right? So um, this is a very kind of a strong sign for you. Um, but specifically, the Cancer Capricorn axis, it's highlighting the 5th, 11th house axis for you. This has to do with your own self-expression, your own creativity, as well as how all that fits in with your community or the groups that you're a part of, or how does it not fit in, right? Ideally, we'd like to see a connection here. Ideally, we would like to be a part of groups or tribes that not only don't compromise our own individual individuality and self-expression but ideally these groups and these group dynamics will actually embolden and enable our um, our own self-expression our own playfulness and creativity right and, and vice versa ideally our own playfulness creativity our own unique gifts will empower the groups that we are a part of as well right that's that's at least how we'd like to to see these types of things so how true is this for you are you currently a part of groups that you feel you have to sacrifice your own integrity, your own self-expression for? Are they uh, inhibiting your self-expression, right? Or is it the other way around? Is your self-expression at a detriment to the groups that you're a part of or your community, right? Um, so having a full moon in this area, it's highlighting these types of topics, these types of themes. There could be culminations or sudden changes or events having to do with your own creativity, self-expression, and how it affects the group, right? Um, this could have to do with maybe you, maybe you're reevaluating this part of your life. Maybe you're saying, okay, um, you know, I can't be my authentic self with this or that group. Is there a different way I can express myself with groups that I'm currently a part of? Or are there groups that I could be, you know, maybe will empower my own, my own identity more so than my current group dynamics um things things of that nature okay friday december 29th this is the day where venus leaves scorpio and enters sagittarius so remember up until this point venus was still in your ninth house it was still showing that you've been really desiring higher learning you know maybe spending more time at your church university or wherever else you go for the bigger questions about the universe and philosophy and things like that um, so that's up until that point, up until this point, that's where the, the love, pleasure, desire have been for you. Now Venus is entering your 10th house. I honestly think this is really exciting. 10th house, again, it's one of the most powerful houses, one of the most powerful parts of the chart for you. Um, it has to do with your reputation and your career. So having Venus giving you love, pleasure, desire in the realm of your reputation and career, very strong for you, very powerful. Others are enjoying your company more at work and in public. You may be a little bit more charismatic than usual. And it goes the other way around as well. You may be enjoying yourself in public or in your career more so going forward. So take advantage of that. Use that. Have fun with it. Okay. So it's, it's a fun, it's a fun transit. Um, okay. And I want to say for these last few days of December, I just want to take note of the chart really quick. Yes, sun is in Capricorn. It's in your 11th house. However, look at Sagittarius though. Right now we've got Mars, Mercury, and Venus all in Sagittarius. So really the focus is very much still on your career and reputation. All right. Last thing I'm going to mention is for December 30th. This is the day where Jupiter turns direct at five degrees Taurus. This is a big deal because Jupiter is your ruler, so to speak, traditionally. And that's, honestly, I would say Jupiter is more so your ruler than Neptune is, although Neptune kind of is too, but whatever. Um, but with Jupiter turning direct at five degrees Taurus, for one, you know, like I said with Neptune earlier this month, with a planet turning direct, its energies are coming back online. They're affecting us in a more direct, more literal way. So this is great. You know, not only is Jupiter your ruler, Jupiter is also benefic. It bestows upon us, you know, abundance, fun, exploration, things like that. So, so going forward from December 30th, you may be more open, more, um, more, uh, optimistic, you know, if Jupiter brings that optimistic energy. So your zest for life may, may be coming back more so on, starting on and going forward from December 30th. 
specifically Jupiter is in your third house. So you may be really opening up and branching out in terms of your siblings, friendships. These are kind of like casual relationships. So casual um, social connections in your neighborhood, people you see every day. This is the area of like chit chat and conversation and kind of just fun, kind of light, you know, uh, connections and, and friendships. So in all of these areas, you may be branching out more, having more fun in these areas, more open, more active, etc. Okay, and that's honestly what I have for you. So um, it looks like a really exciting month for you, honestly. Um, more exciting than the last signs I just did horoscopes for. So have fun with this. Definitely be aware that you are very public at this time. Use that to your advantage. Um, I could see you being more prominent at your workplace or in whatever groups you're a part of really throughout the whole month. So definitely use that and have fun with this month. Okay. Um, okay. And good luck.